Hello there everyone and welcome to the Bold Bokeh Layering Guide video. So first up I have stamped the large image from the stamp set onto a piece of white cardstock and I'm then going to use the simple colouring stencils to colour it in. So I have stencil number one here and this is going to colour in mostly the part of the lily that we have in the forefront of those this image. So I've made sure that I've lined that up first and then that little cup piece that you can see on the topmost flower, I then lined that one up. I'm gonna be using the same ink over all of this stencil, but you could definitely pick out the different flowers using different colored inks. And I am using, using sorry, the fuchsia ink to add the color through the stencil. So once that one has been done, I'm gonna move on to stencil number two, and I'm just rotating this slightly, just to fit in with those two large petals that you can see on the lily and then I kind of put into position that top uh, petal that we can see on this top flower that I'm inking right now. Again, I'm using the same color as before, so this is the fuchsia. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add more of this ink to the base of the petal and then less to the tip to give that gradient effect that you can see. Once that has been done, we're gonna move on to stencil number three. And this is gonna line up firstly within the kind of two highlights that you have on the large lily flowers and then the rest of the flowers will kind of fit themselves into place by themselves, which is fabulous. Again, just a little bit of that ink just to add through the stencil. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna move this over slightly and then add in the remaining petals that are left. So that means that all of the petals have now been colored using the stencils. So then we move on to our final stencil and this is gonna color in all of the leaves that we have. So as you can see, I'm just lining up the one that has the most leaves on first. This is on the right hand side. And for the leaves, I am gonna be using the olive ink. I'm just using a small blending tool for this, but you could definitely use a larger one if you wanted to. Same as before, I'm trying to add more of this ink to the base of the leaf rather than the tip to give that beautiful kind of gradient and natural look there. Once that has been done, we're gonna add in the rest of the leaves and you can see that the rest of the leaves are on the left hand side. So I'm just gonna shift that stencil over slightly and then pop the rest of the leaves into place. Once that has been done and I've used the olive ink to add those in, that is all the layering complete on the stamped image. I'm then gonna do exactly the same with the 3D embossing folder. So I have the embossed image and I'm gonna be using a stencil number one and I'm just lining that up in exactly the same way as I did before. And I am gonna be using the same inks as I did before because I neglected to clean my stencils. So I was just gonna use exactly the same ink colors. Again, I'm trying to add more of that ink to the base of the petals rather than the tips to give that really beautiful look that we get there. I then moved on to stencil number three and not stencil number two. So you can definitely mix and match which, which stencil you want to use. And I'm just lining this up with the um, embossed image that we have below that was created with the 3D embossing folder. Again, I'm using that future ink to add the ink through the stencil. Completely up to you what kind of size ink blending tool that you want to use. So once I have done the first portion on this stencil number three, I'm then gonna move it over so I have the other portion into place and then add some more ink through there. Now I'm moving on to stencil number two. I should have done this before, but I didn't. So it goes to show that if you do kind of move out whichever stencil that you wanna use first, you can definitely keep using them. So don't worry. Again, I've just lined that up with the embossed image below and used the fuchsia ink to add that into place. Now we're gonna move on to the final stencil. So this is stencil number four. I'm gonna add in the little portion of leaves first, again, with the olive ink. I'm then, once that's all covered, I'm then gonna move the stencil over again and make sure that this covers in the rest of the leaves and then I'm gonna use that olive ink to color in the rest of them. Once that has been done, that is all of the kind of coloring on the 3D embossed image as well. So we have the 3D embossed image and the stamped image here. We really do hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.